What makes Marine Special Operations Captain Derek Herrera a hero is not just his actions on the battlefield. Uh, we're on the rooftop observing uh, some suspicious activity in the valley to our north. It was just after sunrise, June 14th, 2012. He was leading a patrol in Afghanistan's Helmand province. And then all of a sudden, I uh, just felt kind of a pulsing sensation on my back. It was an ambush, a bullet from an AK-47 lodged in his spine. As I was laying there, immediately knew and had, had some pain and just kind of uh, almost felt like electrical stimulation just kind of pulsing through my back. Everything in your life has changed very suddenly. It was, yeah, in an instant. You know, an inch one way it would have missed me completely, an inch the other way it would have gone straight to my heart and killed me. Months of rehabilitation would follow, a new battle for the officer, adjusting to being completely paralyzed from the chest down. Over time, I came to realize that, that uh, of the many friends that I've had who have made the ultimate sacrifice for, for our nation, any one of those guys would be happy to be in my position and continue to live a life. One of those guys, Captain Matthew Manukian, a friend whose name he wears in bronze. Tell me about your bracelet. I wear that every day just to try to remind myself and, and try to have a, a small visible reminder of uh, the sacrifices that these guys have made and, and uh, remind myself that, you know, that I have a gift and that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and still able to continue to, to, to move forward. And moving forward is literally what he's doing. He just needs a little help. This is the Rewalk Exoskeleton, an FDA-approved $70,000 wearable robotic device that powers Herrera's hip and knee motion. It allows him to walk on his own. The first American to own one. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Bronze Star Medal to Captain Derek J. Herrera. Now the first paralyzed service member to stand and walk as he receives his bronze star with valor. Being able to stand and, and, and receive this award will just kind of uh, be a symbol and, and uh, show others that, uh, that I'm, not, I'm not out of the fight. Captain Herrera retires out of the service today. His next battle already underway. Kyung Law, CNN, Camp Pendleton.